disruptive, destabilizing behavior in the region. Given the leading role he has played in actions that have led to the deaths of thousands of innocent civilians and Western personnel, we will not lament his death. It is clear, however, that all calls for retaliation or reprisals will simply lead to more violence in the region and they are in no one's interest. We are in close contact with all sides to encourage de-escalation. I will be speaking to other leaders and our Iraqi friends to support peace and stability. It is not the first time Britain has sided with the US over Iran. In the 90s, during the US-led war against Saddam Hussein, Iran remained neutral as Iraq remained a fierce rival after the two countries waged a brutal seven-year war in the 80s. However, Tehran denounced the possibility of a long-term U.S. military presence in the Middle East and, according to a 1990 report by the Daily Express, it declared a holy war against U.S. forces in the Gulf. It also warned it would break the U.N. embargo on Iraq to help its old enemy Saddam Hussein. Tehran's threat to send food to Baghdad and allow oil to pass through Iran would have wrecked hopes of squeezing Saddam into economic submission. Britain immediately responded to Iran's intimidating remarks with Whitehall sources saying they were, in no doubt any Iranian military action would embroil British ground troops soon to be sent to the Gulf. Religious leader Ayatollah Khamenei told Tehran Radio at the time, the struggle against American aggression, greed, its plans and policies in the Persian Gulf will be counted as jihad, holy war, in the cause of Allah and anyone who is killed on that path as a martyr.
Japan will send a warship and patrol planes to protect Japanese ships in the Middle East as the situation in the region, from which it sources nearly 90% of its crude oil imports, remains volatile, a document approved by the cabinet showed on Friday. Under the plan, a helicopter-equipped destroyer and two P-3C patrol